Hello everybody. Today we're going to use one stick of dynamite to drop this small tree. I could get the chainsaw, but what's the fun in that? First thing is to drill a inch and a half hole in the tree because like most explosives, dynamite expands out. So you can't lay it on what you want to knock down. You need to get it inside of it. So we got the hole drilled into the tree. And the question I get a lot is, how exactly do you fire explosives? Because you hear about, you know, you have a blasting cap, we call them detonators. You have the detonator, and then you have the wire, obviously, then you have the HE. But how do you really do it? Well, the first thing you do is you test your wire to make sure there's no shorts in it. And where you do that, you have these pulled apart. This is the part that's gonna be connected to the detonator. Then you take your galvanometer and you connect the top two terminals to the wire and nothing should happen with the ohms. Then you shut these together, which is a fancy term to connect. Then you do it again. Now the ohm should go all the way, nice and solid. I don't know if you can see that or not. Now my galvanometer is like 75 years old. Um, it was a gift, I really like it. The way you do this is like I said, you drill the hole in the tree, then you lay your firing line. Uh, today we're doing electrical, but you could also do deck cord or you could do shock tube for your main line. Uh, we're gonna use electrical. And you have your blasting cap at one end, then you have your detonator or blasting cap on the other end, and that gets inserted into the high explosive. Today we're using a stick of dynamite from Dymo. Now Dymo produces eight different types of a dynamite, and I like the one we're using. It's very stable, and it's got a pretty high feet per second, and it produces one megajoule of energy. Now we're going to test the blasting cap and make sure we have a good blasting cap. First thing you do is you take your blasting cap and you throw it down over the hill. That way, if it does accidentally go off, it's not going to harm you. So I'm going to connect the blasting cap to my two wires here. Then I'm going to connect those to my tester and that should ohm out which it does. So now I know I got a good detonator. And the first thing I'm gonna do is reconnect these two because if they're shunted together, there's no possibility of any stray current setting off the detonator. So first thing we're gonna do is lay out the wire and then I'll be back. Now, next step is to place the high explosive in the hole. Now we're using Dymo Max Pro, approximately eight inches long, inch and a quarter thick, and has one mega joule of energy. Now, I have a non-sparking tool here, and I'll insert it into the dynamite, and that's gonna give me the nice hole I need for the blasting cap. There we go. Now I'm taking down my blasting cap and I'm going to insert it into the piece of dynamite. Remember, you never touch a detonator directly. You always carry it by the wire. Now we put on our earmuffs. Put on our safety glasses. And head back to the firing line. Now we're back about 75 yards. And this is my blasting machine. This actually has a belt and shunt. So once you connect the two wires, it's designed so no straight current can set it off. A lot of people like me included we like to shut the wires together ourselves and not rely on any technology. So I need to go check the blasting area, make sure there's nobody around. It 
It's all clear. You need to hold down this button so it charges a capacitor. Once that light lights up, take off the safety switch. Fire the hole! Let's go check it out. A little bit of um, <laughs> a little bit of smoke. And as you can see, whoop, I cut that right off. Now if I just would have taped that onto the side of it, that stick of dynamite, it wouldn't have been nearly that amount of damage. So one stick was definitely the amount I needed. I can't quite pick this up. I guess I can. But that just cut that right off. Neat as could be. If you have any questions, post them on the YouTube channel. I'll be more than glad to answer them. Next week, we're going to play with mm, probably C4. I just got five pounds of C4 in. So I think next week we'll do some C4 training. But remember, you lay the main line, call it a firing line. Then you test it with your galvanometer. Then you insert the explosive, insert your blasting cap, also known as a detonator, connect the wires, go back down there, unshut the wires, connect them to your blasting machine, hold down the button until the light appears, that means your cap's charged, take off the safety cap, y'all fire in the hole, hit the button. It's that easy. Washington County Machine Guns loves doing private training. If you want to come down and blow some shit up, Give us a call. This is Tread Barton, Washington County Machine Guns. Thank you.